for today's video, I'm going to show you everything that I've been loving for the month of September and I have a lot to show you guys. So let's jump right into it. Devil Crow was kind enough to send me a box of their stuff and I'm not gonna lie, not everything from Devil Crow. Oh, this is still, this is still wet. <laughs> I've never done any like porosity tests on my hair, but based on the definition, I think that my hair is high porosity. So it gets very dry very quickly and it just absorbs everything very, very quickly. So usually by day two and three, my hair is just very dehydrated. So I have to use very hydrating products to begin with so that my hair can last a couple of days so not everything from diva curl works but these two things i've been trying for a while and i do notice a difference when i don't use them than when i do so the first one is wave maker and this is like a cult favorite of theirs i've been more into like a chill just like wavy vibe so that i can do the split down the middle and tame the top of my hair so i've been using this as my first styling product after using my leave-in and I only use a little bit of this and I really, really like this. I've tried this on its own and I don't love it. I feel like my hair needs more support <laughs> um, for it to last, especially since I go to the gym and I sweat a lot and I'm picking my hair up a lot. Like I need products to be able to like do more for me in order for me not to have to wash my hair every other day. So using this as my first step is probably unnecessary like to a lot of you but to me I do notice that it helps with like the texture of my hair it leaves it sort of like soft and flowy not crunchy feeling and it doesn't matter if like I use a gel after like the combination of this with like a good gel is very good or like a custard or something so since I've been into having like less defined texture in my hair it doesn't wear off as nicely you're gonna need a little bit of extra help when you're refreshing your hair so i wet my hair uh, with my little sprayer and then i go in with the frizz free volumizing foam so this isn't something that i thought my hair would love and it's kind of like why i never tried it out before because it is a foam and i feel like foams are more drying for your hair so if you're somebody that has high porosity hair i don't know i just didn't think that foams would work so I was very hesitant about this one, but using a small amount of this can go a very long way. And it works perfectly for people that don't have super thick hair as well and everything weighs your hair down. I feel like this does not weigh my hair down at all. And it adds that little bit of extra hold. So this month I purchased some jewelry from Young Frank, which is a company that I found on Instagram. And I really wanted a link chain, but I didn't want anything too chunky so i found this one i've talked about this i think in my fall trends video it is a link chain but the links are sort of thin they're not too 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 chunky and i love the color of gold that this is i'm very very picky with the color of gold if it's gonna look good with my real gold pieces or you know all of the other pieces that i have in my collection so i am obsessed with this chain and i got the matching bracelet as well and it just looks like this they do sell them separately but i bought the set and then i also got these earrings which is also from them which is just like a flat chunky hoop love these as well and this is like a brushed gold so i feel like my body's changing with age i'm more like sensitive to foods that i was never sensitive to before my skin just starts freaking out over things that it never freaked out over before. Like, we're just, we're, we're getting older, guys. We're getting older, and we have to make changes to our skincare routine as we start aging. So, I recently dabbled into the wonderful world of retinoids, and I have had an experience with retinoid before. Very negative experiences, burned the heck out of my skin, took me like a couple of weeks to recover from it so I was terrified of trying anything like this again so I tried this one I got a little sample of it from Sephora this is the A plus high dose retinoid serum from Sunday Riley so I used it like in combination with a pretty nourishing oil I mixed it in with my moisturizer like I tried to dilute it as much as possible and work my way up to being able to use this like every other day. I still don't use it every day. I don't feel like my skin needs that. So even though I diluted the crap out of this product the first time that I used it, I noticed a difference in my skin 
immediately. Like the next day, I noticed a difference in my skin. And I was like, okay, if this is day one, I could just imagine what this would do over the course of, you know, a couple of months or whatever. It does dry out your skin a bit, but I have noticed a difference in like the glow of my skin. My skin feels a lot glowier even when I'm not wearing makeup. It looks very, very, very even. Again, the texture is something that this has improved like nothing else that I've ever tried. I'm 27 years old. I don't think that you, if you're like 19 years old, you need something like this, but Again, if you are in the market for something like this, I really recommend this one. There are so many other ones on the market. And to be honest with you, I've only tried one other one and it burned the heck out of my skin. So yeah, after I tried this one, I just fell in love and I wanted to recommend it. So I've mentioned how I like throwing sweaters over my shoulders probably like 300 times already on my channel. If you guys are actually keeping up with all of my videos, you would see that I repeat myself a lot because I just use things very, very like on repeat. When I like something, I'm the type of person that I just use it until I cannot you like i play it out basically i'm like this with music i'm like this with makeup i'm like this with everything i play things out when i like it so i've been wearing like tanks and very breathable undershirts and throwing a sweater over top i feel like it brings a little bit of fall or autumn into my outfits even though it is 90 plus degrees outside so this is my favorite sweater to throw over my shoulders i think i want to get this in another color because I really like this one and obviously it's a very nice sweater to just wear on its own this company recently reached out to me they I think just launched like their first collection they just started out they're called let clothing and they are a loungewear company but a loungewear company that is meant for you to be able to wear their pieces outside of your house which I think is genius because I, for one, am always like getting the door and I get a lot of like our friends and family over and you know, I want to wear loungewear but I don't want to look like a complete slob if that makes any sense. Like I don't want it to look like I just didn't try at all. So this is like the best of both worlds. It's a happy medium between very comfortable pieces that are perfect for around the house but they're also presentable so i got this wrap top which i could obviously wear with anything i've already worn it as a regular top it's just a ribbed regular wrap top comes with the little strings and a little hole and you can just it's kind of like what i'm wearing but a lot more form-fitted it's just like a very stretchy like heavy ribbed material sits beautifully on the body absolutely love this top and I got it with these matching bottoms. I'll link the styles and everything down below. I forget the names of everything, but they're just these wide leg pants, very high waisted and they have pockets, which is always a plus. They're just so perfect. They're very, very long. I will say that if you're anything shorter than 5'8", like I am, even me, like they're long on me. So I could just imagine how long they might be on someone who is shorter, but obviously you can get them hemmed or cut them or do whatever you gotta do. Definitely recommend them. They're a very, very small company and I really, really love what they're about. I feel like a lot of you are gonna be like, oh no, she's, she's, that's it. She's taken a turn. She has taken a turn for the worst after I talked about ankle socks in a recent video, but these are my new favorite sandals. I wanted these for around the house. This is what I have them for, for around the house. But I also recently styled them and I really liked how they looked with my outfit. And I know that when summer and spring come back around, I'll probably be styling these a lot. And I know they're not everybody's cup of tea. I get it. Uh, they weren't mine, to be honest. But it's one of those things that I tried out and I ended up loving. And now I'm a full on Birkenstock convert. In my fall trends video that I recently put up, I mentioned that I like thicker belts. I really like how they cinch you at the waist and they make a statement for your outfit. Uh, I've always loved them, but now like wearing them with baggier trousers, I love them even more. So my two favorite ones that I got is this Croc stamp brown one. I feel like this is a very like common belt on Etsy. Like you can probably find a bunch of sellers selling something similar to this. If you just search like Croc stamp, 
belt or brown belt or whatever i also came across this little beauty it has like an embossed texture as well but i don't know what that is it's just like a random little texture it's black and the buckle is my favorite part i feel like i can wear these for the rest of my life like they're just so versatile i go into my closet almost every single time i put an outfit together to pull one of these out so the last clothing piece that i have are these trousers from nanin and they're the same trousers that i wear like all spring and summer long but in a different fabric these are the cotton towns trousers i love the style of these trousers they're very very high-waisted they're not super super oversized they sort of taper and they're not too short they have a bunch of trousers and all of them are very nice but this one is the only one that i've tried from them and i just really love them so i had to get it in a more like fall appropriate fabric and color i tried out these two oils from vitruvi they recently came out with these oils and i've been testing them and they're just the ceremony and retreat oils ceremony is more if you're like a sage lover or if you like like very earthy smells and retreat is more of you like a more like luxurious fresh smell definitely recommend pretty much all of the scents from vitruvi i've tried i think almost all of them and they're all very very good but i feel like these are very unique compared to all of the other scents so next up i have the show outlander and i've talked about this in the past i think how it's seriously like one of my favorite shows it's the most beautiful show that i've ever seen in my life it is the only show that i've been able to like repeat and still love like i've only been able to do that with like the office and friends you know obviously very different shows have nothing to do with this kind of show but that's just how much of a beautiful story it is and i'm <laughs> I'm probably going to rewatch season one and two again. I rewatched season three in order to be able to see uh, the new season, season four. I, it took me forever to watch season four, I know, but yeah, I recently watched season four and I just, I had forgotten how good of a show that is. So if you guys have never seen that show, I know that season one and two is on Netflix right now. All of the seasons are on Amazon. Every single person in that show does such a good job. They're just, it's the chemistry between the two main actors. It's like unmatched. It is the most beautiful show I have ever seen in my life. And I don't say that lightly. I've seen a lot of shows, a lot of very good shows, but it's seriously my favorite period drama. I don't want to say too much of what it is because obviously like even saying like the synopsis of it will give the whole thing away. Like, but it's about a woman who time travels into like the 1700s and she finds a man. That's all I'm going to say about that. It's a very, very good show. My mom doesn't even speak English very well. And she saw the last two seasons in English. Okay, like sh that's how good of a show it is. Like she loved it. I love it, you'll love it, just watch it. So that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, follow me on Instagram. I post on there way more often than I post on here. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload and I will see you in my next video.